Welcome to another live stream session with me, Dan, your consumer master trainer working with Microsoft. And for today's live stream, I'm super excited kasi may bago tayong product na i-a-announce. No? So siguro narinig or nakita nyo na no, yung doon sa ating banner kung ano yung office or kung ano yung nababangit ko na. Kung ano yung, kung ano yung product niya announce natin. Well, tama kayo. Ang, ang i-a-announce natin is about the new Office 2024 version. Right? Anyway, Office 2024 is a perpetual version of Office. Okay? So, and So, you will get uh, the new Office 2024 in terms of um, productivity. No? So, you still get the classic Office applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint. For Office 2024, it's Windows 11 and Windows 10. You can still install it. No, so but do take note no yung Windows 10 version natin will end its support next year, October of 2025. So you might want to, you know, consider upgrading your device na just in case. Para at least ma fully utilize mo yung uh, mga features for Office 2024, no. So for again for ARM based devices at least Windows 11, no. For Mac OS naman, at least three of the most recent uh, versions ang compatible with the Office 2024 for for processor at least win, for Windows at least running 1.1 gigahertz of course mas mataas mas maganda for Mac with Intel uh, processor and yung Apple Silicon at least mag mag uh, uh, dito supported niya is yung at least three most recent uh, version of Mac OS for the RAM both Windows and Mac is uh, at least 4 gig no and for the storage naman at least 4 gig for windows for mac naman is at least 10 gig All right so ano po yung kailangan uh, kailangan ba ng internet pag nag pag nag install of course definitely kailangan po and you will also need the microsoft account to activate office All right yun yung mga some of those are the basic uh, system requirements for the Office 2024. So, proceed na tayo doon sa mga bago. No? Sa mga bagong versions or sa mga bagong feature included with uh, Office 2024. So, oh, bumalik. Sorry. Ito. Ayan. So, let's start with the Office team. No? Ito po, baka, baka mag, magkaroon din ng kalituhan, no? Yung Office team po kasi was already introduced sa Microsoft 365 before. No? Ngayon po, magiging available na rin siya sa Office 2024. So, mas marami na po yung options to change or yung default ng Office team niyo So, mas fluent yung design natin and mas uh, intuitive siya in terms of uh, yung mga yung experiences mo across all of the applications na ginagamit mo whether you're using on Windows on Mac or yung improved accessibility tools so para sa mga hindi po nakakalam yung accessibility feature ng office is very important para sa mga less able customers natin or yung sa mga less able consumers natin no? sa mga users natin so ngayon po mas na-improve yung accessibility tools natin and mas magiging accessible siya para sa lahat. You can now give a like reaction to a specific comment. 
no? So, available po yan sa Word at sa PowerPoint. Again, this feature was already available sa MP65 before. But again, magiging available na siya sa Perpetual Office, which is yung bagong Office 2024 natin. So, so ito, so, sobrang helpful nito kasi with Word, it automatically opens all the documents na hindi mo na-save. So, with this uh, Recover Your Word session no, na feature, pag open mo pa lang ng Word, automatic meron siyang suggest na may mga recovery file. Okay, di ba ang stick nun? So, available po ito for both Windows and Mac. For Excel naman, again, this is uh, available for both Windows and Mac. Uh, we have uh, now a faster workbooks, no? faster Excel, reducing the delays and hang-ups. Next is we have additional new charts, dynamic charts, and dynamic arrays. Text and array functions is already has already included sa Office 2024 where you can combine, reshape, resize, and select arrays with these. Ito, maganda rin to, yung blocking ng XLL add-ins. No? So with this uh, feature update with Excel 2020, uh, Office 2024, uh, yung mga additional plugins na included doon sa file na dinadownload mo is automatic binablock niya. PowerPoint. Ito, maganda to. Ayan. As you can see sa video, pwede mong incorporate yung sarili mo doon sa mismo presentation. Ang galing, di ba? So, kahit wala kang green screen, so, habang nagpapresent ka, pwede nasa loob ka na ng presentation. Kung gusto mo mag-insert, tapos mag-create ng video presentation, pwede mo nang i-record yung sarili mo using PowerPoint. Dito po, you can include or capture your voice, yung inking gesture, yung pag nag-iinking ka dun sa slide, pwede niya rin i-record yun. And even yung video mo mismo, yung video presence mo mismo. So, perfect to para dun sa mga teachers, ayan, sa mga kagaya natin ng training, no? pwede mong incorporate yung sarili mo sa PowerPoint while doing the annotation. And of course, hindi pa siya hassle because PowerPoint lang yun ang operate mo. You can now add captions. So, meron kang options to add closed captions or yung subtitle doon sa mismong video mo. So, kung meron ka ng readily available na closed caption, all you need to do is incorporate it or insert siya doon sa presentation or doon sa video na nirecord mo using PowerPoint presentation. For Outlook naman, ayan, improve search for email, calendars, and even contacts. Kung meron man akong kailangan na file, so naalala ko bigla kung sino yung nag-send, isa-search ko lang. So, mas in-depth ngayon yung searching natin using Outlook. Meron pa na option to send an accessible email. Again, it's also part of the accessibility tool na available na po sa Office 2024 where available na po sa Mac yung scheduled email or yung send scheduled email. Same with focus your inbox. Available na rin po sa Mac. Next, undo. No? So, same sa Messenger or sa mga any uh, messaging app na ginagamit natin. Di ba? May mga unsend na. So, same with email din. No? So, kung meron kang uh, mali na nalagay dun sa email mo, pwede mo pang i-retrieve. No? I-unsend mo yung email na sinan mo. So, again guys, this, is, uh, this update is specifically for Mac kasi po yung unsend or yung undo send is already available sa Windows. So, ngayon po, available na po yung unsend sa Mac. No? So, same with delay email message. Alright? So, ito po yung side-by-side -side comparison ng 2024 versus 2021 para sa kalaman ng lahat. No? Mas faster mas intuitive yung Office 2024 versus uh, sa, sa Office uh, 2021. As you can see, uh, for 2024, reduced slowness and freezing time no, with multiple apps are open so compared sa 2021 version. Uh, we also have improved search in Outlook no, and swipe gestures in Outlook for Mac. So, may, may swiping uh, gestures na tayo yan. Uh, in terms of uh, creating a content, no, uh, again, you can now send more accessible emails compared to the previous compared to the previous uh, version. We also have updated accessibility ribbons specifically for Outlook and Excel. Uh, PowerPoint cameo, scheduled email in Outlook, closed caption in PowerPoint, focus inbox in Outlook, undo send in, uh, in Outlook specifically for Mac. Uh, we also have recording studio where you, you can record your your yourself using PowerPoint. Delay, me, uh, delay email messages in Outlook for Mac and reactions in Word and PowerPoint. 
And ulitin ko lang po, ang office home student ngayon is office home na lang. And ang home and business is still home and business 2024. So again, Office 2024 is your familiar and basic productivity app for personal use or business use. No? So if you're looking for a basic Office app like Word, Excel, PowerPoint na gagamitin mo, you can choose Office Home. Office Home 2024. Wala na pong student. Ha? Office Home 2024 na po ang bagay niyang name. And for business use naman, Office Home and Business po ang uh, same pa rin bago pa ang, ang name ng ating uh, office home and business 2024 so you can still same pa rin po you can only install office 2024 on a single device whether windows or mac so ano yung bago sa office 2024 it has a lot of productivity features no uh, for documents, for presentations, for emails, and also yung sa Excel sheets natin. No? Ang daming improved features in terms of creation. In terms of tracking naman, it is easier to track and organize things using the new tools and updated features na pinakita natin kanina. And in terms of performance, compared to the Office 2021, the new Office 2024 has now faster performance. Meron din siyang, meron din siyang improvement in terms of search uh, improvement sa ating Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more control in terms of accessibility feature sa ating, and, and in terms of uh, content creating or content creation using Office 2024. Alright, so I think that's summarize our topic for this live stream, no? So I hope meron kayo natutunan, no? For, for today's live stream. So, stay tuned para dun sa mga upcoming videos, contents na ipopost natin dito sa ating uh, channel. No? So, don't forget to like us on our Facebook and also share the stream. Kahit patapos na tayo, pero you can still share it para mapanood pa rin ng mga nangangailangan no? ng update with Office. And, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na again i-follow niyo po kami sa aming mga social media hindi lang dito sa Facebook but we're also available on YouTube as well so kung hindi niyo pa po napapanood yung ating Copilot Plus uh, PC discussion and yung ating Copilot uh, video panoorin niyo na po sa ating Expert Zone uh, YouTube channel that's also Expert Zone uh, Microsoft Expert Zone sa YouTube 